Hello and welcome back to the madness. This is floss tube number 18. I know it's been a while. I have about three weeks, I think it is, to show you worth the stitching. Um, I did get a lot done, which is really crazy. So let's just jump on into it. So the first thing I did was boomness. I'm probably not pronouncing it right. Luminous, luminous, luminous. Okay, so the stats on it. Um, oh, so I changed it to 100%. I'm like, I did not stitch 9,991 stitches. <laughs> okay, I'm so... What I did, that's right, in Pattern Keeper, I did it on a black so I wouldn't have to stitch all the black. But then I was looking at it, and I'm going to fight with the sun coming in the window. So, sorry. Um, so, I took out all the black stitches. Um, I think I did 200 in it. But yeah, now there's only 5,320 stitches instead of 15,000. Yeah, no. But I got this far. I mean, I am liking it now. Um, I cannot wait to stitch outside and see if that makes a big difference. Let me tell you, in the summer when this gets called, it's going to get a lot of stitches if it works better outside. Okay, so that was Luminous. Next was Midnight Brew. Oh, I can tell you, I did 302 stitches. It's sitting right here in front of me. 302 stitches. Okay, so this one, I did... I did not mark it down. Are you kidding me? Well, I did 316. Oh, how about if you? That's what it looks like. I did 316 stitches on it. So I don't know what percentage this is. I thought I was. I thought I was good and did it all. And I was gonna go through and check them before I hit play, and I didn't do that. So sorry, guys. <clears throat> Trust me, you're gonna get so many stats today. You're gonna be filled with stats. Okay, next was my um, Whip Frenzy. So I wanted to do a whole bunch of stitches on a whole bunch of different projects. So from um, Saturday, I did one, two, three different projects, which was a total of 1,404 stitches. So this is vegetables. I did 400 stitches on this one. There you go, kind of. And I'm at 7%. And look, we got the eggplant coming in. How cool is that? I'll bring it up. I can't see what you're seeing. Okay, there we go. Without being a creeper and looking. So I'm very happy with this one. This one I knew was gonna be fun to stitch. Um, I didn't want to stop stitching on it. And the 400 stitches went by so fast. Yeah, it was crazy. But I was participating in Whip Frenzy. So, um, I gave myself three hours for each project. But I didn't do the thing where you stop the timer. I just let it go. So, some of these got more. Um, some got less. Next was ding dong. So, let's see. I did 603 stitches in it and got it to 42%. How cool does that look? 
Yeah, the next time I pick this up, it will be a finish. All I need is 1,102 stitches. And this one, again, this was a fast stitch. I mean, 600 stitches in three hours. Well, yeah, 600. The next one I got 604 stitches in three hours. Woo Okay, so we have gardening. There you go. Oh, no, see that having that front window open is like awful. And you know, I almost closed it. And I'm like, no, I don't think it makes a difference. It makes a difference. So, okay, I couldn't figure out which way it goes. So, yep, you're seeing the whole carrot. That's where I stopped. But how good is that? 604 stitches. And then, so that was Saturday, those three projects. There we go. Okay. So then it was St. Patrick's Day and I worked on the Irish gnome and I put 601 stitches in this one, which I'm, I can't wait to go back to this one. So um, I'm at, did I tell you what percentage I'm at at that one? This one, I'm at 21.48%. And this one, I'm at 48.29. And it will only take 1,375 stitches the next time I pick it up. So that will be a weekend for sure. But then I really want to try to do just 500 stitches and then put go to a new project. That's the goal, but... So, I tried this back in, I think, February. The goal was to, the night project, to put 500 stitches in it. And then the rest of the stitching put in the AM stitching. I'm really going to try to go back to doing that. I'll start with that night's project and then, um, okay, so all of those all together, it was 3,221 stitches. But I really want to work on the AM stitches. But I don't want to call it AM. Maybe priority stitching, um, goal stitching. I don't know. I don't, I, the AM is like throwing me off. You know, my brain. So saying AM, when it's night, I'm like, but it's AM, I can't work on it. So that's why I'm trying to give it a new name as Priority Stitches. Whatever I pick to work on that night, then um, do the 500 and then go to... There's so many over there that I can call in priority. But the main priorities are all the sales... Becca's Pokemon type chart, which is going to be a finish this year. And if I don't start doing this, it's not going to be a finish. And there was one. Of, oh, at the railroad. I added at the railroad because I needed some fun stitching in there too. Okay. So next week or this, the second week. So the first one I got was Hogwarts, Hogwarts Express, Hogwarts Express. Um, I only got 200 stitches in on this. Um, Mondays are hard. <laughs> Mondays are really hard. So, um, but look, we got the hat again. If you remember, I had to rip out the hat, the broom, and I think MU because my dumb butt started over here on this knot instead of starting on this knot. Yeah. 
it was a lot of ripping out. Oh, how about if I open up and show you exactly what I have done? But you can see the hoop ring. You can see where I stitched. It was basically the hat. And did I tell you the percentage I'm at? I'm at 19% done. I was kind of bummed that I picked this one up on a night that I wasn't going to get a lot of stitching. But it is what it is. Okay, so then... We come to Tuesday, which was March 19th, which was a new start because it's spring. So, Becca did have not, has not printed me a hard card. I've asked and asked and asked and she hasn't done it yet. But this is the pattern. It's by Caroline Manning. Oh, that's, that's. That's my planner. Um, oh, it's because I take pictures and yeah. Okay, can you stop? Get rid of you, I don't know what you are. Okay, so here we go. It's called Flower I don't know why it wants to keep flipping on me. It's called Flower Craze. Oh, I can't get up to you close and get. So. Okay, now get back to. I can tell you some stats on it because I don't have anything written down. Um. Oh, yeah. So. I did 13 stitches. 13,000 stitches on it. I worked on it for three days straight. That's the back. Oh my God. Well, you like my messy back? I know, I know. Time to go to bed. That's the front. Yay. I cannot believe I just showed you the back. I mean, I don't care that you see my back, but I'm showing my back like, look at all my stitching. Okay, next was Pokemon type chart. Okay, it's such a hassle to get this up. So you got to take that out, which is all that. Don't mind my um, hanging threads. But I did 400 stitches on this. Did, I think I just worked on Poison. Poison and I got this lined up. Because I hate when these aren't lined up. So I did 150 plus whatever this was to make 400. And I was super excited when um, I was done with this. And it worked out to be 400 and I didn't have to go anywhere else. I was like, oh, it was meant for me to stop here. I know I'm crazy. It's okay. So, oh, I, I have stats. And I didn't even show you what it's supposed to look like. This is what it's supposed to look like. And why does it say I did 606 stitches? Huh, that's weird. Huh. So I worked on it. Oh no, this one hasn't been updated either. Next time, I promise before I start the video. Because it's, I worked on it two days, the 6th and the 7th. You already saw that progress. So I gotta take this out to put to go this way. Nope, it goes the other way. To put, nope, it goes the other way. To put this in, then you put that in, then you put that in, and then you squish a little, and you squish some more, and it fits. Okay. Oh my, 
I'm sitting on my foot, of course, and it's going to sleep. Okay, now. Oh, um, I worked on Vintage Flag. And if you listen to the vlog, and I was so worried about the white not showing up, and Danielle cocktail contacted me after, I just lost a floss, after watching that, and she's like, I think you're going to be fine, because you're doing two strands over one, and she was doing one strand over two, and look how that white just freaking pops. I'm super excited that you can see it and yeah, it looks so much better in the camera, but mm -hmm, I'm loving it. So, are you kidding me? I have written nothing on this. I have no information. I can't with myself. Oh my God. I just can't. Next time, I promise. I changed my colors. Do you wanna see the colors I changed it to? So it was supposed to be this weird red, and then that's the only thing I changed was the red. But this, it's only four colors. So you have 939 and the white, and then you have like this vintage blue, and I went with like a, now that's coming up really bright, but it's not. Um... If you guys know, it is four ninety eight. It's more of a. Can I bring it back? Maybe if I put it on this, oh, I kind of. It's that light's making it look very bright. Okay, kind of that. That's almost true color right there. It's like a darker vintage red. That's how I feel about it. So, yeah. I am so mad that I did not write down anything. I have not read, wrote, and look, nothing. No goals. We know it's 100. This is, this is my fun project that I, this started the whole weekend projects about taking my fun stitching out and letting me stitch on it whenever I want to. It all started with this one because I wanted to work on this when all my friends were working on it, or if I just felt like today would be a great day to work on vin vintage flag. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay. So, I mean, I can't even tell you how many stitches I did in that because it's all over the place. But that day I did 316. I think that white was all 316. So that's not the one I'm supposed to pull next. So next, I worked on Watermelon no no. That's Becca. We'll get past videos and you'll understand why it's no no. And... I didn't write any information down. I can tell you I did 200 stitches, though. I did the watermelon. Isn't it cute? And then, I don't remember what this is. Maybe it's the start of his beard or something. I don't know. It was fun. Um, I, I can't even tell you how many stitches. Well, so I probably have 2,400 stitches left to do on this one. Give or take two stitches. Yeah. It's staying in the hoop because, I don't know. <laughs> it's just staying in the hoop. I don't care at this point. Okay. So then that was the second week. And I did 2,676 stitches. And then I was supposed to not really stitch this week or last week however you want to say it. So the first, oh, I put another, okay, so I did 400 stitches on watermelon gnome gnome because um, the 25th, I put in more stitches. The 200 was on the watermelon 
No. I think I worked on the watermelon first, and then I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to, yep, I'm going to fill in that hat. The next day, I just wanted to put some stitches in the hat. I already knew that I had no pressure on me. So I was just like, you know what? This is what I'm doing. So then the next, did you fall? Oh, no, because we're not talking about that till the end. So then the next one, we're not talking that until at the end, is <laughs> Merry Christmas. So if any of you are in games with me, you'll notice I put the start picture, I'm in a hoop. I did two stitches, then I transferred it to a nerge. With picture this plus fabric, that that's what this is, right? Almost positive. Oh yeah, we didn't have the thing to get the actual name, but I'm almost 100% positive this is picture this plus. It's very, like, it's not stiff and it's just like, I showed you this, right? So I did 400 stitches yesterday, and now I'm at 68.10% done. I only have 2,764 stitches to do. So I put it in the nerds, right? And I'm like, I'm going to do a whole bunch on this. And I just wasn't feeling it. So once I got the border around it, I got to finish this part of the border. I didn't even notice that that part of the border down here on the side that I thought was done is not done but I know it's going to line up so that's fine I just wanted to make sure it all lined up and then I was like nope this one's going away because I'm not feeling it it wasn't stitching up fast and I'm like I want some good stitching time today so after putting 400 stitches in that, then I decided I was gonna bring out Black Vintage. Hey, this one is up to date. Be proud of me. So, I brought out Black Vintage. My goal is 100%, we know it's not gonna happen, but I don't want to I am stitching in 796. This is for Johnny. He loves old stuff. Um, and that's his favorite color. So I did 500 stitches this time. I'm at 6% done. And I have just a little over 23,000 stitches to go. But, so my plan was, I put this in a nerd, right? And I'm like, okay, my goal is, how about if we use a clipboard? <laughs> we have a clipboard here. Why don't you freaking use it, Becky? Okay, so my goal was, I put it in the nerd, right? Now, mind you, I just realized this, but then I forgot when I put this one in the nerd. I need to have the nerd, so... You know, the nerge is probably like this, right? You have a long side and you have a short side. I need to put it in the nerge like this instead of like this because working up here puts pressure here and then my wrist starts to cramp up, go numb and do the yucky things. So I went to go put the first stitch in all the way up here I was like, nope, that's not going to happen. Because my goal was to go this way. And then I really wanted to do the two hot air balloons. But that didn't happen. So I'm like, okay, well, you know what? That's a chandelier. Let me do the chandelier. Chandelier. I didn't realize that the house was right there. I really wanted to get to the house. So I was like, oh, that's the chimney of the house. So I did the, the part of the house too. So the next, the next, <laughs> it's been one of those days. So the next time 
I'm going to put it in the nerch the right way and I'm going to work this way and then I'm going to work down is my goal. Or did I say I want to work straight across? I want to work straight across. But I'll get all of this done and then the nerds will be moved this way in here. So that is my goal. Some projects I love the nerds, some projects I love a hoop. This one, I like the nerds because I like that it's not a rounded. You know, my brain, it's all about my brain being happy. And the nerds on this one makes my brain happy. Just like the nerds on Pokemon and the nerds on, what is that called? Train of Dreams. And I'm pretty sure, sure see I say nerd so much, so now I can't even say it. I'm pretty sure there's a nerd on, um, at the railroad. Everything else is hoops. I really kind of want to get another nerd because I'm out of nerds now. Um, I want to get another nerd for the rent, the vintage flag. Okay, I'm, I'm done. Words aren't even my friends. So now. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five. Five days I worked on winter snow fun. Isn't it cute? Let me tell you, one day I did 400, one day I did 500, one day I did 700, which I wasn't supposed to stitch much this week, right? Then the next day I did 600, then the next day, and I was so happy, 700 stitches to finish it. Well, it was really $6.99, and I was like, you know what? I need one more stitch, and I added a snowflake somewhere in here. So I only needed one stitch, but it is a finish. Here, let's just do this. It's a finish. I'm so happy. I'm so excited that it's done. Yeah, so happy. It looks so good. I can't wait to finish it, and then... Um, this one will stay out all winter because it's winter fun. And I have the red one, remember, that is Christmas fun. But Christmas fun might stay out to all winter. I don't know. But yay, it was a finish. I mean, look at it. We didn't even enjoy it. There's um, the cool tree. Then you have the little village with the reindeer. Then you have this cool star, and then Mr. and Mr. Snowman, and then look at the cup of cheer with the marshmallows. Oh yeah, and did you see there's a bird with a birdhouse? This had my name written all over it. I just love Shannon Christine's stuff, I'm telling you. So, now that gets us to, oh, yeah, no, I did pass. I did pull it up. So before, after I finish this, I still had time to stitch on Saturday. And I'm like, all I had left in my basket to do from what I pulled, because I worked on every single thing I pulled the last time I did a floss too, was this guy. And I put in 200 stitches. And I was stitching on it. And I'm like, this isn't fun. It really isn't fun. Um, the rendering, I don't really care for. I don't know. It just, I feel like I was thinking, oh, what if I put it on a different fabric? Because maybe these colors would actually pop like on a, a gray or something, you know? And then I started looking at the pattern and I'm like, 
It's a gnome dressed up as an Easter bunny-ish. Holding two Easter bunnies. I'm really not into Easter. So why am I torturing myself? So I had a nice discussion and I decided it's gone. It's done. I'm not doing it. There are too many cute gnomes out there that I really love. And I think this was a part of a bundle that I got. I think it was in a bundle, which there's quite a few that I'm doing. Like, I'm almost positive. This is with the um, gnome with the lamp. Um, I'm almost positive. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. So it was part of this bundle. I love this one. No. So then I was like, well, if I'm not going to do Easter Boy... Then do I really want to do Easter Girl? And the answer is nope. So two off my list. Um, I'm just not feeling them. And I started going looking through all my new patterns. Well, not new, but patterns that I have that I haven't started. And I'm like, I have so many spring and I don't think I have a lot of Easter. But I've seen so many good Easter ones out there that do I, I don't want to waste my time putting in. And those are bigger ones, too. It's like 4,000 stitches on each. Maybe even five. I don't remember. But it's not like my cute little ones like, like him. He's only 2,000 stitches. Here, I'll be able to tell you because they're all about the same. Yeah, almost 5,000 stitches. So I really like took a step back. There's so many other gnomes I want to work on too. Like all the walking gnomes. I call them the walking gnomes. I don't know what other, I don't even know what they're called. And I changed the name, so. um, Because she does like SPO and then numbers. She doesn't like give them a name name. So, anyways. So, oh shoot. Okay, I gotta pause you. My bad, I didn't even have to pause you. Ooh, it's a little. Okay, so. I mean, and I finished that winter snow fun in the nick of time. It was, oh, it was March 30th. But still, okay, so first we have to mark off. It's the very bottom one. We have to mark off winter snow fun. And then we forgot to do this last time, but I have a black marker. So, oh my gosh. We need to mark off um, Easter Boy, black him out, and Easter Girl, Girl, and Mailboxes. So we have three blacked out and we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 seven, eight, nine finishes this year so far. So I'm super excited about that. So I think the next month, I think we are going to do pink. For April. That will be our next color. Okay. So that gets put in there. Now. 
Now for the fun part. We get to pick. I did take out Easter Boy. I did not dig through to get out um, Easter Girl. So, okay. Let me tilt you down a little. So you can see the picking. I guess I gotta bring it down a little bit more. There we go. Oh, oh. There we go. That better? That better. Okay. We ready? Oh, and I put back all of the ones that I finished and the ones that I pulled for last week. This is the ones that each month get dumped. So whenever I fin if I work on something here, then it gets put in here. Does that make sense? That makes sense to me. Okay, so here we go. 10 projects. What 10 projects will it be? First one. <sighs> okay, I'm going to put 100 stitches in on this one. Oh, I guess you guys, do you want to guess? Mini surfing the work, the web, the verb. Mini surfing the verb here. Oh, I feel like you guys are. I'm cut off a little. Now you're crooked. Oh my goodness. <sighs> here, I'll just bring that back. Okay. Well. Okay, mini, mini, mini. Surfing the web. Um. I only want to get to 15% and that's still 11,000 stitches. And this is where I'm at. So I'm working on the blue book. So that is that. I mean, I know this is gorgeous. My friend is doing this too. And hers looks amazing, which um, I hope you're working on yours still. You know who you are. Okay, so next. The bee gnome. Oh my goodness, bee gnome. Oh, look at that right there. So I have not worked on it this year. This is another one of that bundle that was in that bundle. Um, I say I finished. It's 4,650 stitches. But isn't he cute? I don't know. Those two are just not cute to me. I feel bad for doing it. But I got to tell myself, you, you should only stitch on things that make you happy. So that's where I'm at. So we'll see if this one gets love. I'm not promising anything. I am promising that I, I'm going to work on mini. So today is April 1st. Ooh, that's not attractive. Um, today is April 1st. So if I work on it, it means I don't have to touch it for a whole freaking month or see it being pulled. So that's that's the incentive to um to work on things. Winter chill. That would be this way. Oh, right there. Oh, yes. I haven't worked on this this year. Sorry. So, so happy. So I want to finish this. This is where I'm at. And it only needs 2,897 stitches. Super excited about that one. Okay. Let's really mix them up. My hands are not... <laughs> okay. I'm not mad. Watermelon gnome gnome. 
Okay, so the only thing I am mad about is okay. So you know where I, my starting point is on that one. Oh, and it only needs 2,000. I don't remember how many stitches I did on it. So just a little over 2,000. I think I did 400. I don't remember. How about if we get the sprite out of the way? Okay, next. Tell me if that's annoying. Oh, wait. Merry Christmas Gnome. I think that's the one I showed you. No, it's not. Right here. Oh, oh yes. Yes, please. Oh. You know, Soda Stitch. You can't go wrong with Soda Stitch. Let me tell you. Her gnomes are the best. All of her patterns. I love. So, of course, I want to finish it. It's 3,823 stitches. And that's where I'm at. This one is so much fun. So much fun. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Next. I'm trying to remember to pick up because I don't know if that's annoying or not. Okay. Oh, I haven't touched this one this year. Love USA. I don't think so. Yeah, I haven't touched it this year. I want to finish it. And I have 2,211 stitches left to go. And this is where I'm at. So I'm about halfway done, I think, right? Oh, more than halfway done. So... I only have to do all of this over here. This is a fast and fun stitch. This one is going to be hard not to just keep stitching on it. It's going to be really hard. Get in there. Okay. Next, I don't even know how many have we done yet. Train stop. Oh, here. So I'm not cheating. Train stop. That would be this way. And it's right here. Look at that. This I only want to get to 50%. It's 10,000 stitches to get it to 50%. And... I'm working on the smoke. So I'm working right there. I really want to come down and get this part of the train done is my goal. Because I think... No, I'm not close to having the smoke done. But yeah, I really want to start working this way. Right? Oh, this what I started in the middle of the pattern. That's right. Yeah, so I, yeah, I want to work towards the smoke, the smoke stack. And I'm just doing 310. And this is a fabric that Becca dyed for me. It's for John, of course. And... We asked John what color he wanted it on, and he said a mustard. And so Becca kept dyeing it until he said, yep, I like that color. Well, I have picked this color. But it's for John, so. Okay, how many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three more. Really want to mix it up. I mean, I did get some fun ones, so I'm very happy about that. Okay. This is another one that I'm really thinking about saying goodbye to. Anoma month. But I think it's just because it's January, and I don't like January. 
because I've seen Jen the Caffeinated Crafter do May. And I think she's working on April now. I don't know. My memory's so bad. But I'm almost positive she either finished April or she finished May. I'm almost positive it's May because it's flowers. So I only want to get to 25% and that's 2,228 stitches. But it's, it's so confetti. It really is. But I'm not giving up on it. I, yeah, I'm scratch what I said. I am just going to do 200 stitches on it. And then if I feel like going more, I will. Oh my God, that, this shirt is not flattering on me at all. Okay, two more, two more. Okay. I felt, like, oh, it's just crinkled. Oh, look at that. Easter girl. Cool. Now I don't have to worry about picking her anymore. Oh, that's two. Well, let me go back. I, I did not see them. Okay. I don't know why I'm not looking in the camera to see if I got two. I swear black and white. I'm trying not to twist in my chair. So. Oh, black fabric. That's right. Oh, come on. There we go. So I want to finish it. It'll be 200 200 2518 and I have OL yeah so um I think what I want to do is I want to go this way I think if I get some footprints in there I might get happy and really want to work on it I mean I do love the pattern it's just, I don't know what I was thinking about putting on a dark fabric. Well, because it's black and white and I wasn't going to stitch the black. So I just got to suck it up and just work on it, right? Just suck it up, Becky. Okay. Last one, right? No, I'm almost positive. Okay. Oh, sorry. You can't see it if I'm just doing this, right? Tonight, we ride. Did I pull that out as weekend stitching? I think I did. That needs to go in the weekend one. Which I was thinking of putting the weekend ones in here because I love them so much and being able to pull them would be like, oh, you know, but then I don't know. So let me go run in the back. So much editing in this one. Let me go run in the back and get Tonight We Ride so you can see where I'm at. And of course my, so, and of course my battery died on my starter, my clicker to start you guys. I thought raging, yeah, not that. And I was really thinking while I was back there, I should just put all the weekend stitches back in. I really should because I'm not even working on them. And when it is with frenzy, I can just go back there and just pick what I want to stitch. Right. Okay. So I want to get to 50% done on this one, which I think I'm going to change that because again, um, I only need 5,617 stitches to make that goal. And I'm at 12.5. 36% done already. And I am working on this witch right here. And that's how much I have done of her. So I'm excited about this one. This one will definitely get some love. Okay, that's it. Um, yeah, I'm really thinking about putting the weekend stitches back in because it's really fun 
to pick them and get excited. And then on the whip frenzy, I will just pick whatever I want to work. Because what if I want to pick, and this was my other thing too, I was thinking about. What if I want to work on like, um, where is it? Yeah. Oh gosh, I just hit myself in the face. Just need to go to bed. Um, I love USA. What if I really wanted to work on this? And I mean, a good weekend. Two thousand stitches is nothing. But you know, I wouldn't do it all in one weekend. Now, if it's a thousand, yes. But I wouldn't want to give up two nights on that. As I gave up how many nights on this to finish this one. So I don't even know what I'm talking about. So yeah, I'm really thinking about putting the weekend back in here. It's going to be a pain to put the alphabet back in order. But I really like just having the two. But maybe I can stuff them into just two. Because now there's so much. Oh gosh, we're not doing that. There's so much wiggle room in them. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm super excited about what I have picked. Um, and I really want to do a lot of progress on the ones that... Um, what is What did I call it? Um, my focus projects. I need to change that in my tablet too. Oh, I forgot to tell you this. Okay. So here's the... The stats part. I know a lot of you don't like the stats, but I figure if you're doing a floss tube, the stats are important. Um, especially because I only use 14 Ada. So I'm not saying all these different fabrics. But the week that I was supposed to be taking it easy, I did 4,200 stitches. I almost died when I did all the calculations yesterday. So... It's going to take a second to load. So, here's this, okay? Can you see that? You know what? We're just going to do it like this. Nope, we're not. Oh, my God. Um, good notes. Okay. Here we go. I think if I do this. Okay, so... The 6,008 stitches, that's my focus. That's what I have to do a month to meet my goals. And then the 15,209 is the stitches that I don't stitch on the focus pieces. So it was AM and PM stitches is what it was called. I didn't even write it on here. Huh, that's funny. So, my, keep in mind that I have to do 6,000 stitches for the AM. In January, I did 7,014. That was good. But in February, I only did 2,400. And in March, I only did 2,069. So, I started panicking because if I keep this up, then I'm not going to get my goals met whatsoever. And I really want at least all the sales to be done. No, let me take that back. Because I'm not counting the cottage. The cottage is a bonus if it does, if they all get done. But my three major ones is Pokemon type chart. I want that as a Christmas present for my daughter this year. Um, If I don't make it, then she will definitely have it by her birthday, which is in February, February 26th. So it's not giving me much more time, but it's giving me a little more time. But I really want that done for Christmas, for her birthday. So, and then, okay, so here's where I talk about it. So, for the focus pieces, I have to do 200 a day. 
And that's how I get 6,084 stitches a month. For my, what I would call my PM stitches, my goal that I wanted was to do 1,009, no, no, 109,050 stitches. That's a big goal. But I wanted to raise it from last year, which I think was 75,000 or no, 85,000. I don't remember what it was. I just wanted it to be higher. And I was thinking 300 stitches a day. If you did the math, that's how you got that weird number. That's just for the PM stitches. For the whole year, I wanted to do 500 stitches a day, 200 on focus, 300 on um, the PM. So no, that's not going to work. My goals. I really need to just focus and put 300 stitches in the PM stitches because if I did 500 stitches, for the year, I would do 182,000, no, 182 I'm so bad when saying those, 500 stitches. Let me just show you. So that is the goals. So the cottage, this is why I took the cottage out. The cottage to finish all the stitching, it would be 18,995 stitches to complete all the rest of the cottages. The country sale, I only need to do 7,606 stitches. The yearly sale, I only need 7,423 stitches. And for Pokemon, to finish Pokemon, I need... 43,696 stitches. Now, this was at the beginning of the year. That's not what I need right now. I did knock down these, the three, a sizable amount. Not something that you write home to mom, but a sizable amount. So, if you take out the cottage, so the whole, all four of those is 77,000 760 stitches. I hope that's right because I'm reading backwards. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys aren't seeing this backwards. That'd be so annoying. I might have to look at that. I don't know how to reverse it if it is. Um, so if you take out the cottage, because if you look, this is what we're looking at right here. So if you take out the cottage, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what I touched, but I did something. Okay, it's back. Um, so if you take out the cottage, which is what, 18,000? 18, subtract the 77, will be way under the 73,000 a year. Does that make sense? That's why I'm not counting the cottage as part of this. So I think if I really... start to be more disciplined, this will work. So what I really need to do, this is what I need to do because I, I was feeling a little panicky about what I said I was going to do. So when I get home from work, I need to put, well, hmm. I need to put 200 stitches in the focus projects. Get that done out of the way. So then whatever stitchy time I have left for the night, then I can add it to these. And hopefully it's more than 300. If not, it's okay. That's going to be Monday through Friday. On the weekends... Well, 
See, and that's another reason I wanted to get rid of the weekend stitching because I really like to have Friday counted as the weekend, but then it was only working on four projects and I didn't like that. So on the weekend, I'm going to, until I get caught up, which I have to do the math and figure out how far uh, how far behind I am. And then I'm going to update these numbers too. So the next, okay, it just changed. So the next time I come on, I'll give you the new numbers of what I have to do to do the Pokemon type chart, country sale, yearly sale. That's all I'm focusing on right now is those three. Um. So, on the weekends, I will put 500 stitches in those and then pick something out of what we picked. Yeah, the weekend stitches are going to go back in here. So, I'm not even going to put this up. I'm going to go grab them and I'm going to have to do all that. So, tell me what you think. Am I crazy? I think it was a really bad mood taking out the weekend stitches and just put it all back in the bowl or jar or jug, whatever you want to call this thing. And when it is whip frenzy, which I think it's this weekend, isn't it? I don't know. I'm so, I'm so lost right now. Um, I don't know what this weekend is. Maybe it's nothing. I don't know. Um, because I forget when we do the whip frenzy. What what weekend Zoom that's in? Is there a weekend Zoom this week? I don't know. I gotta. I wasn't in planner yesterday, so I have no idea. It wasn't even yesterday. It was Saturday because I was working. Yeah, you already heard that story if you've watched the vlog, and you'll hear that whole story. So, I don't know. Does this make sense? It makes sense to me. I need goals to push myself. And I really want to finish Pokemon for my daughter this year for Christmas. Um, I mean, if I'm finishing it Christmas Eve, it's getting finished Christmas Eve and being put in a box and wrapped up. I'm not fully finishing it because um, I told her I will do the stitching and you can fully finish it however you want to do it. It's up to her. If she wants me to do it, that's fine. But she's very controlling. And what she sees in her head, we we that's when we butt heads. Because I see it as I would like to make it into like um a blanket for her bed. And she keeps going back on what she wants. So I told her, I'll just give it to her. If she wants my help fully finishing it, I'll do it. But this is one thing we're not going to fight about. So, I mean, we don't fight all the time. It's just when she has it in her way, how she wants to do it. I have it in my head the way I want to do it. And we're just like, and then finally I'm like, listen, my brain. And she goes, no, listen, my brain. But I mean, with, in like five minutes, we're over it and we figured out how we're going to do it and it's all fine. But it's just that five minutes of not even bickering. It's just like, but I want to do it this way. And she says, but I want it this way. Well, no, she says, will you just let me do this? Just let me do this. You told me how you want it. Just let me do this. I love her to death. Um, and if she watches this, she'll laugh about that too. So... Yeah, okay, I'm getting off of here because I've talked long enough, and this is already, I don't know how freaking long, probably the longest, besides a whip parade, the longest floss tube I've ever done. But I really want comments below. Do you think it's a good idea to put the priority stitching? Is that what we're calling it? I really need to stick to a name, write it down so... I know. Focus? I think it was focus stitching. I kind of like priority stitching better, though. But I like focus, too. Name it for me, people. Just comment below and tell me. I'm annoying or you like me? What is it? Okay, we're out of here. 
Have a great weekend or week, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.